Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to walk you through some very important development aspects of an application. Because what has happened is one of my friend who is a doctor has approached me asking me to create some kind of an application for him where because he's visiting multiple clinics or hospitals, he wants the ability that the receptionist who are on his clinics um, they are able to take appointments and he is able to get that information on his mobile phone on the move he wants to understand you know in which clinic how many patients have already taken appointment and these kind of things so what I'm gonna do is obviously this is a back-end application where there's no fun fr front facing thing uh, where you know i would say like patient is coming to take appointment the idea is the receptionist will use this interface to add in the appointments and then the doctor will be able to see it so yes it's a back-end back-end heavy application i'm going to use inertia along with laravel and the front end stack will be react along with typescript I am very comfortable with that stack and hence I'm going to do that the database will be MySQL obviously so far what I have done is something which I'm going to explain you right now this is not going to be a video series where I'm going to actually do the thing but I'll focus more on going through the code with you and guiding you on what I have done okay and the last thing which I want to talk about is the design the design I very clearly told him that I'm not gonna spend too much time looking at you know, very specifics of design I will try to keep it simple but usability wise it should be good so what I decided is to use ant design library this is a very uh, powerful design system built with react it has good TypeScript support and that's the reason I feel it can take up a lot of your front-end heavy lifting work from your side because there are so many components and they're very well designed generally you will be able to complete about 70 to 80 percent of your requirement using these components itself so i was able to create this ui with and design okay so let's get started what i have done so far so i have a clean installation of laravel okay and the only thing which I changed is obviously the readme I added these entities so I have I need to have places I'm calling those places because the place can be a clinic or it can be a hospital so you know, add a new place that's the idea there will be receptionists because you know, one place can have multiple receptionists and there will be multiple receptionists looking at uh, the appointments and then obviously there are appointments and then there are patients okay this is at the bare minimum which he which he wanted and and i said okay fine you know this looks quite straightforward i'll do it so i haven't done anything yet instead of a clean level installation on which i have installed inertia js um react js with typescript now i have already created a video where you can install and set up inertia along with react and typescript so what i would suggest is you can go to youtube and search for it and you will get this video and i'm also going to put the link in the description below so that you know you can quickly refer to it but the basic idea is that it will guide you through the complete process of setting up inertia with react and typescript okay some configurations which are important to understand i have a editor config where my ts and jss are indented to two. this is important for my formatting i have a prettier uh, rc file as well tab with two use tabs is false it should be spaces single code true semicolon true in terms of packages what i have installed i have installed inertia laravel that's about it backend only that thing is required and then i have this ts config file i haven't made any change to it so as of now okay in the webpack mix i made certain changes because we are going to use typescript so 
this is ts other than that nothing else the entry point is still app.js i made a little bit of change inside my app.css i have imported the ant design okay and then this is how i'm bootstrapping my application the react application with inertia okay this is very standard stuff you can always refer to the code which i am going to link below okay so yes after that what is going to happen is i'll tell you what the folder structure will be looking like i have app.blade.php this is the default you know inertia thing i have only added the title tag because it was missing and after that everything is going to be js so we will have a pages folder if you look at the app.js i'm looking to import you know pages from the pages folder with p with a capital p right so i have home page on in the home page obviously this was the uh, example which i had taken from the video and zubair's blog post so i'm i'm doing this but then there is a template component which i have created that template component is something where the entire ui or the look and feel of the backend is this is something which i have stolen from the ant design doc documentation so what i did was i went to the designs sorry the documentation and in layout they have quite a few options and what i finally decided to go with so i think not this one yeah this one this looked quite good to me so i basically took this code it was a class based component so i made some tweaks and converted into a functional component here okay so we have layout we have cider then the header breadcrumbs everything is in place and obviously in the content area which is you know, this right i'm rendering the children prop prop okay and that's what is resulting in this template picking this up okay so yeah that's about it in terms of the setup of the application i'm slowly gonna work on you know, these things and as and when the videos are created i will continue to post them so that you can understand how the development is happening